Hereditary is this horror mystery drama directed by Ari Astel, which is his directorial debut. Before this, he was doing short films. So after a family member passing away, this grieving family has to deal with these haunting and supernatural occurrences that unravels these dark secrets from their past. Now, this is going to be the first horror film I think I reviewed on this channel, and that's because I'm not really into horror films. It's one of my least favorite genres, along with westerns. I can never really get into them. I probably see about three a year, and I think two of them are on Blu-ray I buy, and some of them are probably independent. I don't watch the mainstream ones that come out in November during the holiday. Halloween time, it's it's a dumb concept to me. But the horror films I have seen over the years, they're great. They have good story, they made me jump, they have some great characters. It's not one of those, just one of those films that just make you jump for the next two hours. And Hereditary delivers on that. At times, I was just doing this. I'm just not really into the gory stuff. I don't mind being jumped, but with blood and stuff, I just I just have to close my eyes. What's so unique about Hedatree, it has a great blend of art house and mainstream. You it has that kind of independent feel to it, but it can be shown in like bigger cinemas, and that's what I quite like about it. It can be shown by loads of audience, different kinds of audiences. Just judging by the trailers itself, you feel like you know how the film is gonna play out. That person's gonna die, that's gonna happen that person's gonna die, etc, etc. But I was really surprised how the system worked in this film. I was surprised within 45 minutes who died, how this plays out throughout the film, who lives, why they live. It really works. And that's what I loved about Hedditry. It wasn't another, it was another like basic horror film. It had some style, it had, it had a plan. It had a proper plan of what to do. This is hands down Tony Collette's best performance in years ever since Little Miss Sunshine. And Minnie Chaparro creeped the shit out of me. She was just so scary to look at. And it was just really scary. And I love what they did with her character near the beginning within like 45 minutes. I'm not going to give you a spoiler, but it was very gory. And Alex Wolf, who carried most of the film towards the end, really worked. He showed so many different kinds of like negative emotions that really play out through the film. I'm not going to detail on this, but the film involves this dark cult all the way from the 15th century. That involves decapitation. That plays a major part of the film because they say that decapitation really unleashes the soul of the body and they need to find the right host for their King Pardon. The problem is they found the right host, but the problem is she's a female, Charlie. But that's where her brother comes in, played by Alex Wolfe. There is a creeping dread throughout the film's running time, and it just increases, and it explodes in some shocking scenes that you think you're ready for, but you're clearly not. This film is still on my mind from yesterday. Hereditary is one of the best horror films of the decade, along with films like Barbadook and The Witch. All I can say about Hereditary is that the music, the horror aspect, the cinematography, is amazing, the acting is brilliant and heartfelt. You actually felt a sense of genuine paranormal and fear for these characters. I highly recommend Hereditary. It's one of the best horror films of the year. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Go like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what did you think of Hereditary and what is your favorite horror film of the year so far? Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram page. You guys are awesome. I've got your back.